Hola! Today is dia 11 de 100 days of Spanish. 11 is 11. That's 10. And one more is 11. 11. Hoy means today. Hoy. Hoy quiero hablar de uh, a little snack and una bebida uh, that are typical from Valencia, which is just south of Barcelona in España. Uh, and I want to tell you what you're going to learn is the word for you want. So yo quiero is I want. What you find when you have to, which means you in an informal way, is that the you get an S on the end. It's a bit like when we have um, I run, but he runs. It's the same sort of thing. Uh, so yo quiero is I want and you want is tu quieres. So you've still got the key, you've still got the yeah and then you've got an S on the end, quieres. So quieres un poco de comida is, well it could be quieres un poco de comida is you want uh, a little bit of food and quieres un poco de comida is do you want a little bit of food? So it's it's the same. You don't have una un proceso complicado to make the question. In English you do. In English you have to say do you want or does he want and add that little auxiliary verb in. In Espanol no. Quieres un poco de comida. You want a little bit of food. Quieres un poco de comida. Do you want a little bit of food? No es difícil. Español no es difícil, which makes it nice for you to absorber fácilmente. Fácilmente means easily, like fácil is something that's easy. Uh, so fácilmente. Absorbe español fácilmente. Quiero hablar de, um, de ese comida from Valencia y ese bebida. The bebida, uh, what I did was I looked for the top 20 snacks uh, in España that you have to try in your life. And the first one was uh, tortilla de patatas. I thought, oh, I don't, no quiero hablar de eso. And the second one was un bocadillo. A bocadillo is a sandwich made in a lovely crusty long baguette. And then I thought, no, no quiero hablar de bocadillos. And the third one was horchata y fartones and mi sentido de humor infantil dictated to me that I must talk about or chata y fartones because <clears throat> pardon I love the way the words sound or chata is una bebida that looks a little bit like leche now leche I don't know if you remember, means milk because you could have te con leche, which is tea with milk, or you could have cafe con leche, which is coffee con milk. Now, horchata is perfect for the vegans. Porque no tiene leche. It, tiene, uh, it, it has tiger nuts, water, agua, y azúcar, sugar. Uh, and it looks like leche. Pero no es leche. A lovely uh, vegan slogan. Uh, no es tu mamá. No es tu leche. You understand? It's cool when you understand stuff. No es tu mamá. No es tu leche. Un eslogan vegan. Uh, now, la horchata comes with un farton. And un farton is, is a bready dough. Uh, that, that's cooked and then iced. So it's like a, an iced bun. So you get your horchata and you get your farton. Y es delicioso. That's all I want to talk about today but I have, I have a question for you. Uh, let me tell you a word which is, uh, that means too, as in too much. Now, más means more, and demasiado is too. 
uh, so too much or too too something. Demasiado is like of mode because <laughs> you've got that mass in the middle. Demasiado. Uh, rapido means fast, like rapid. So hablo. My, this is my question. Hablo demasiado rapido. If you could let me know in whether it's text or whether I see you in la calle or whether um, you send me a personal message on Facebook, hablo demasiado rápido o está bien. Está bien means it's fine. Está bien. So that's my question. Mañana, can you come back because mañana we're going to practica los números from 1 to 12, which means you'll be able to tell the time. And I'll show you a game to play con los números because it's nice to practica los números out of sequencia. It's a really good uh, lesson mañana. Come back for that on día 12, which is day 12. Hasta mañana. Adios.